Make sure you're tuned at this point. You know, Gabriel's tuned, so we are ready to go. Uh, James, do you have anything else to add before we get started? Nope. We are starting the recording right now as well. So if anybody would like a copy of the recording afterwards, if you have questions, uh, I can get that email to you as well at the end of the day. All right. All right. So today I wanted to, instead of learn new chords, um, which we've been doing for a while, we've been learning um, Hallelujah, we've learned new chords. Um, before that, we also learned Riptide. Today, we're going to learn just four chords. But today, I mostly wanted to focus on learning new strum patterns and um, you can pretty much use these strum patterns for any song, but we're going to learn four new strum patterns today, which means four new songs. However, same four chords, which is also just a cool concept to see how many songs come out of these four chords. There's actually over 500 songs. You can play with these just four chords. So they're also good four chords to master. So I'm going to show you a little bit of what we're going to be doing today. So, <clears throat> so I haven't had anything to drink yet today. So my voice is not warmed up. <laughs> We're gonna do the L I won't die no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Girls like you come around, guys like me, and out I come through. I need a girl. Like you, yeah, yeah. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. Said it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. Those four songs, we'll be learning all four of those songs today. And if you realize all four of them were exactly the same uh, four chords, one of them was just out of order, um, but they were all different strum patterns. And like I said, you can definitely apply all of these strum patterns uh, to a lot of songs. And once you kind of have your go-to strum patterns, then it becomes really easy to apply them to any songs. So how's it sound? Good? Good, yeah. Awesome. Um, so let's go and start with um, I'm Yours. It's one of the most popular songs on the uh, on the ukulele. People just kind of, um, when they think of the ukulele, that is one of the first songs they think of. So we're going to start with that. Um, but before we go into that, I'm just going to go over the chords real quick. Um, so go ahead and play a C chord. Okay. Go, go ahead and play a C chord. Okay, great. Go ahead and play a G chord. A minor chord and an F chord. How did so the, that F, the F chord is almost the same as the A minor where your finger is on the top string, but we're going to add our one finger onto the second string from the bottom. One, two, in the first fret. Very good. Okay. Very good. So just one more review for anybody watching who doesn't already know these chords. Here's your C chord, third finger on the third fret on the bottom string. G chord, this one takes a little, little bit more practice if you're not already used to it. Two finger on the bottom, one finger on the third string, three finger on the second string. A minor, second fing finger all the way at the top in the second fret. And then like I said, F, you just add it to that second string on the first fret. So those are the only four chords that we will be practicing. So uh, if you are watching this and um, you don't know those chords yet, my first advice would just be to learn those chords. They are um, they're one, pretty much the main chords that you're going to use on the ukulele. Um, so definitely practice those and then start off with the easier songs and then work your way up. So we are going to start with I'm Yours. And the order is literally just that, C, G, A minor, F. And we're going to do kind of this, like, um, I guess, reggae beat, where it's on the off beat, where we have a, where it's like on an off beat. So our strum is down up neat. Okay. So the beat one is just, we're not doing anything on one, and then down up neat, down up neat, down up neat, down up neat. And we do that four times for each chord. 
So um, I'm actually, Gabriel, can you uh, mute yourself just so that we can try it together? Um, play at the same time without like <laughs> just muting each other. All right, so let's go ahead and try that together. I'm gonna do down up you four times for each chord. So ready to start on C. Down up, mute, down up, mute, down up, mute. G, down up, mute, down up, mute, down up, mute, down up, mute, A minor. F. One more time, back to C. G. too hard it just takes a little bit of uh, practice to kind of get it lined up and up to speed so when you do sing it and play it it is um, a little bit harder to line it up let's go ahead and try that let's just try singing and playing the chorus I want you to try to sing it along with me and see if you can keep playing as well okay so we're gonna do the um, well I won't hesitate no more no more we're gonna start there right so I won't hesitate we actually start the words first well, I won't let that I take no more, no more. Taking that way, I'm your How did that go for you, Gabriel? Uh, it's still a little tricky for me to sing and play at the same time. Right. So because that song is like specifically like offbeat on purpose, um, because it has the like uh, reggae beat, which is going to be on the offbeat, it is a little bit harder um, to actually add singing and and that strum because then you're like, oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, oh, wait, oh, no. <laughs> so, um, so before singing, obviously, um, how you can start putting them together is to just practice the ukulele part more often. Um, so we're going to see that uh, Matt, Matthew, has joined us. Hello. Um, so, yeah, so I would just practice the ukulele by itself, just really trying to get this... Um, rhythm down to where you can get it really passively uh, without thinking about it. And then, of course, at that point, you'll be able to add in um, the singing much easier. So it just takes practice. So obviously, you have to take this, do it multiple times, and then add your singing. Um, also, if you uh, if you have any issues like muting at all, I use the side of my hand, almost like I'm karate chopping. My hand is just kind of more closed because of the way I play ukulele. Uh, some people I know play just with their two, their one finger, like they just do like a this thing where they use just one finger up and down, and then they use their whole hand to do that. Uh, I tend to almost I use my middle finger to strum down and my thumb to strum up, and then I use the side of my hand to mute. So I do like a it almost feels like I'm holding a pick, like the way I strum. Okay, so just okay. kind of out there. There are multiple ways to strum. You can even use a pick. Um, the ukulele particularly is a little more relaxed on that. But the common way is um, using the pointer finger to do both, or the pointer finger down and then the thumb up to get everyone um, that. Hey, Robin, how are you doing? Good. Good. All right, we already did uh, one song today, but we are doing four songs today. So you're good. We're still going to learn three more songs. Feel free to watch the recording to get that one, okay? So we just learned I'm Yours. We're going to move on to our next song. Our next song is uh, Girls Like You. So that is the Girls Like You, round around guys like me, and the same love I found through. I mean, girls like you, yeah, yeah. So uh, if you notice, the ukulele sounds a lot more, um, it's filling in a lot more space because we're doing a lot more. Uh, down strum. So this one's actually pretty easy as far as the strum pattern goes. I uh, just got to get in the rhythm of it. Okay. 
Sorry, someone put me on my phone. It muted my mic. So we're gonna do pretty much all down strums and then a down up at the end. So it's down, 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 down. One and two and three and four down up. Which is a and a, I guess. Yeah, so one and two and three and four and a. There we go. So it starts on that and where we do the down up. So let's all try that together. Uh, go ahead and mute your microphones that way. Um, you'll be able to play at the same time with me uh, without meeting each other's mics. So we're going to hold the C chord and we're going to play one and two and three and four and a. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time really slow. One and two and three and four and a. So pretty much we're just adding an up strum at the very end. Um, to, uh, so let's try it a little bit faster. Ready? One and two and three and four and a. Okay, a little bit faster. One and two and three and four and a. <laughs> so now let's do it four times in a row. We're just gonna stay on C for right now. Ready? One and two and three and four and a. One and two and three and four and a. One and two and three and four and a. One and two and three and four and a. <laughs> So if the little up at the end is throwing you off, you can also just do down strums. You can just do one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. You can definitely just do down strums if the little up thing at the end is confusing you. Um, and then once you get comfortable with that, do try to add that in. One and two and three and four and up. It just fills in the space a little bit more, makes the uh, transitioning a little bit um, more interesting. So let's go ahead and try the chords. The chords are exactly the same as I'm yours. C, G, A minor, F. So we're gonna start it nice and slow, uh, just so that we can get the strum pattern. Uh, so let's go ahead and try all four chords, C, G, A minor, F, all together, nice and slow. Ready? One and two and three and four and a G. One and two and three and four and a minor and two. Very good. Um, so was everybody in the class just by a thumbs up? Everybody able to follow along with that? Nice. Very good. Nice job. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Like I said, the song is so it's a little faster. Okay. So hopefully now that we got that, like I said, if that and that uh, confuses you, just do down strums and then work, um, work on this throughout the week and practice getting faster. Ready? Start on C. One and two and three and four and a G and two and three and four and a A minor two three and four and a F and two and three and four again C and a G and a A minor and a F and a and on a D. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Um, so now let's see if we can throw in the words. So. There's a lot of words and I always forget them. But um, if you want, you can just hum along with me. Uh, the words are, girls like you run around with guys like me to sundown. When I go through, I need a girl like you. Which I honestly forget as I say it. Um, Cause there's a lot of words there. But if you don't want to um, sing it, you can also practice your singing skills and do lip trills over it, which if you don't take singing classes, um, is an exercise that'll help you um, master the melody, have good placement and good breath support. So you can do with the song um, instead of the words if you would like to do that, if you don't know the words and you also want a good singing workout. So let's go and try that all together, ready? If you can try to sing along, if not, just try to keep up with the ukulele part, ready? Girls like you run around with guys like me Sitting down when I come through I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah And we're just gonna sing, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Nice. 
Nice job. All right, how'd that, how'd that go for you guys? Uh, Bobby, how did that go for you? Good, awesome. Gabriel, how'd it go for you? Kinda, cool. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that means, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess your hand motion. I feel like that means that you were able to play it well, but maybe the singing itself was still kinda hard. Yeah? <laughs> All right, very good. So, so far we have accomplished two different strum patterns. We have done the down, up, mute, down, up, mute, and we've done the down, 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 down. And that's two different songs, I'm Yours and Girls Like You. Now, we are going to uh, learn the song Apologize, like this. It's too late to apologize. It's too late. So if you can see, again, I changed the strum pattern. The strumming is a lot more uh, smoother. We're not doing a mute this time, and we're also not just going really fast. It's nice and spread out. So we're using the same exact chords for this song as well. However, we are starting on a different chord. So we're just starting that transition or the, that progression on an A minor. And then everything is actually in the same order. We're just starting on A minor. So it's A minor, F, C, G. So like I said, it's actually in the same order. You're just starting on A minor. So one more time, A minor, F, C, G. That is our order of chords for the song. Okay? So now, go ahead and just hold an A minor. The strum pattern we're doing sounds like this. Okay. So that is down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So go ahead and try playing it with me while saying it out loud with me. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Nice. Gabriel, can you go ahead and give me an example real quick? Just want to make sure people are following along. Sure. Perfect. Nice job. Awesome. Bobby, how are we doing here? Can you show me? Yeah, you get the first half down, down, up, and then up, down, up right after it. So uh, go ahead and say it out loud as you play it. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Down. Right, and yeah, try not to pause. Down, down, up, up, down, up. <laughs> so just keep working on it. Uh, that'll be something that you can work on this week, right? It's just getting a little bit smoother at this transition. But uh, but you got that first half. Good job. All right, go ahead and get your microphone again. And we're going to try playing it together. So go ahead and uh, mute your microphone, Bobby. There you go. Okay. So we are going to try to play that uh, once for each chord. So like I said, it's A minor, F. C, G. Okay, so let's start on A minor and try that strum pattern. Like I said, go ahead and say it out loud with me, um, especially if you're struggling with it. Um, I am going to go a little bit slower than the song, but try to say it out loud. That way the pattern gets stuck in your head. Ready? Down, down, up, up, down, up. Now I'll switch to F. I'm not going to go super fast through this one yet. F, down, down, up, up, down, up. Switch to C. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Switch to G. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay? So now let's go ahead and try to connect it without me talking about the transitions in between. Let's try it all together. Ready? Down, down, up, up, down, up, F. Down, up, up, down, up, C. Down, up, up, down, up, G. Down, up, one more time, up, down, up. A minor, down, up, up, down, up, F, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, up, up, down, up. Nice. Very good. So, uh, the, 
I want to say that the songs that I've chosen are kind of in order um, of from the easiest to more difficult. Um, so if you find that this strum pattern is a little bit harder for you, um, just start with the first song that we did today and then move to the second song and then the third and then our last one will be the hardest. Um, it'll be finger picking. So just work your way up. And of course, you got to put in the time throughout the week as well um, to get better at these. So there is a recording of this. I think it goes on YouTube afterwards. So you can um, always come back to it and listen to all of the songs that I did right in the beginning of the video as well. All right. So let's try that one more time. And then we'll try it with uh, playing and singing after that. So start on A minor. We're going to do just what we just did one more time, going through all of them, saying the strum pattern out loud. Ready? Down, down, up, up, down. try to see if we can sing it and play it so the words are it's too late to apologize it's too late <laughs> ready we're starting a minor uh, also if you can't sing it and play it yet like I said you can either do lip chills to just hum along if you don't know the words um, and work on your singing or you can just keep saying this drum pattern as we keep going through all right ready it's too late to apologize it's too late it's too late to apologize. It's too late. Nice. All right. How's everyone doing so far? I <laughs> know we're like three songs in. Kinda. All right. Does anyone have any questions about um, that song that we just did? No? No. Okay, cool. Um, I am just kind of getting through all of them real quick. And then at the end of the class, I will um, kind of take questions about things that were a little bit more hard and look at those little things. But we're just going to get through all four songs. And then if we have any questions, you can, um, you'll be able to ask all those at the end. Okay. All right. So our next song is Someone Like You. Same chords, it goes back to the original four, C, G, A minor, F. It's gonna sound like this. Never mind how I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Don't, don't forget me, I beg. I remember saying, sometimes in life, in love, sometimes it hurts instead. So, uh, this one is finger picking. If you are still working on strumming in general, or you're still working on mastering transitioning to these chords, quickly, I recommend just using, um, you can actually even use the strum pattern that we just used. On apologize for the song. You could do which is the down, down, up, up, down. You could do the same exact strum pattern as apologize. Uh, that my just yeah. So if the finger picking is too difficult, you can use the apologize one. You can even use the girls like uh, girls like you one, where the girls like you was all down strums. It's too uh, Never mind how kind someone like you. So if you were better at the down strums, if you were better at the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can use that. You might even be able to use the I'm yours one with this. Uh, that was the down, up, mute, down, up, mute. You could probably use that with this too. The uh, never mind how kind someone like you. You would just do it twice. So technically, you can use all of these strum patterns for pretty much any of these songs. These are just different strum patterns that I chose to teach you, new ones, um, and to give you a toolbox 
of different strum patterns and picking patterns to choose from. Okay, and the ones that I just personally thought weren't best to choose from. All right, so we're gonna try the finger picking pattern. So what's happening over here is I am starting, I'm just using these three fingers. These three fingers um, are the uh, three that will always be touching the strings that I'm playing. Okay, so thumb, pointer finger, right? index finger, middle finger. Um, so we're gonna put them on the bottom three strings. And um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna call these by the guitar names, which is P-I-M. Uh, that stands for their Spanish names, Pulgar, Indice, and Medio. So I'm going to refer to them as P-I-M, okay, just so that I can talk about them. So we're going to play P-I-M-I, I-M-I. So they're literally just going in order on the strings. So I'm not holding any particular chord right now. Okay, so here's like a close-up of my fingers. So you're starting right here, thumb, and then P. And we're just going to go back and forth. So if the chord is using the bottom string, we're going to use this. If the chord goes up to minor, you're going to switch up to these three strings. Okay. So this will be the one that we use for A minor, using these two strings. The rest of them are down here, which are on the bottom three strings. So let's go ahead and hold a C. Um. Um, so we're starting to see, and we are going to use that picking pattern. P I M I P I M I. I think we just do it twice. Yep. So we just do it twice, okay? Uh, does anyone have any questions about that um, in the class? About the finger picking pattern? No. Okay. So we're gonna start on these bottom three strings. You're gonna hold C. We're gonna do. P I M I P I M I. That's also one and two and three and four and. Okay, so let's try that together on C. One and two and three and four and. Okay, now go to your G and these fingers stay exactly the same. Okay, still the bottom three uh, string. One and two and three and four and. Now we go to an A minor. And our three fingers are gonna come up to the top three strings so that we can actually hear this note. And you're gonna do the same thing, P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I. And then when you play an F, you're gonna stay up there as well so that we can hear these two notes. P, I, M, I, P, I, M, I. Okay, so pretty much the first two notes, uh, first two chords you play, you're gonna be playing these bottom three strings. And then the last two chords that you play, you're gonna be playing these top uh, three strings. Let's see if we can do that in a row. So let's start on C. So C, G, A minor, F is our um, progression. Ready? One and two and three and four and G and two and three and four and A minor and two and three and four and F and two and three and four and. So if you're having, um, <clears throat> Trouble's getting there fast enough, I would recommend just practicing your transitions in general, just getting those four chords really quickly. So if this is kind of difficult, like I said, um, practice the transitions by themselves, and then also practice some of the other strum patterns with the song as well, and then work your way up to it. So let's go ahead and try it up to speed with the song. I'm still gonna count out loud, and then we will switch to singing. All right, so start on C. Ready? One and two and three and four and G and two and three and four and A minor. F and two and three and four. One more time. C. G. A minor. F. And just a reminder, you can just do a different strum if you'd like. You can do this and two and four and one. So working on the finger picking, no problem. You can use any of the ones that we've learned so far with this song and work your way up, okay? So now, before we sing and play, uh, does anybody, uh, Gabriel, Bobby, do you have any questions about that or anything that you're struggling with with the finger picking? No? No? Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and see if we can play it and sing it at the same time. 
So uh, if you don't know the words, that's fine. You can just hum or like I said, use lip chills uh, to get a good singing workout in there as well, or you can sing the words along with me. So we'll start with never mind. Ready? Or just focus on your ukulele if you're still struggling with this. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. I wish nothing but the best for you. Don't forget me, I beg. I remember you said sometimes in life and love. Sometimes it hurts instead. Sometimes in life and love, sometimes it hurts instead. Nice. Very good. So, just a quick review the four different uh, strand patterns we learned today. We learned I'm yours. Down of you, down of you. Down of you, down of next one that we learned was for Girls Like You, and those were all the down strums plus a little up at the end. Go ahead and try that. One and two and three and four and up. One and two and three. It's a fast uh, change though. This one is a little hard for you. You can also just uh, not do the up at the end and just do all down. So it should make it pretty easy. And you can do that with any song. Very good. The next one we did was apologize. This is the one where, again, the chords are in the same like circle. You're still going A minor, F, C, G. You're just starting on A minor. Um, and this one was the down, down, up, up, down, up. And then our very last one was finger picking, going back to that C, G, A minor, F, someone like you. One and two and three and four and 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 Right, so just a quick review of everything we've learned today. Like I said, you can actually change them up. Um, I put them to specific songs, but you honestly could use any of these strum patterns I've taught you for any of the songs we've learned today. So let's say you were doing the Girls Like You song. The girls like you run around with guys. You could do the down, down, up. The girls like you run around with guys. Like these and then I'm down too. I need mean, girls like you. You could also even do the finger picking. Girls like you run around with guys. Like these and then I'm down too. I need mean, girls like you. Yeah, yeah. So you could use pretty much any of these. Uh, strum patterns interchangeably for any of these songs and um, lots plenty more songs also have these exact same four chords so if you are having fun with like figuring out pretty much different ways to like make these four chords sound you can actually just look up uh, four chord songs uh, specifically you would look up one five six four chords because the C is the one starting on one the G is the five C, D, E, F, G. A minor is the six C, D, E, F, G. A, and F is the four, C, D, E, F. So if you look up one, five, six, four songs, you will see an entire list of songs uh, that have the same exact chords that you can use, uh, like there's like, probably like easily 500. Um, and you can just keep playing with different sides over here to make them sound um, like how you want that specific song. So, um, Bobby, did you have any questions about any of those? Or um, was there something particular that you were struggling with? No? Okay. Uh, Gabriel, was there um, any questions you had, anything you struggled with uh, throughout the whole, the whole class that you want to look at? No, I got, I got it. Perfect. Nice. So um, since we're at uh, the end of class, let me uh, pull some examples real quick so we can have you guys show it since I've been uh, showing the entire class. Uh, Bobby, can I have you show me the Girls Like You uh, strum pattern, which was all the down strums with a little up? and going through those chords. 
But with 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 the chords up, so C down down down, and then G, so C G A minor F. Nice job. Gabriel, can I see you do the finger picking for someone like you? Nice job. Very good. Can I see you try to sing it and play it? Oh, no. <laughs> uh, mm. Never mind. No. The, the strings will start first, yeah, see so how. Never mind, don't. Never mind, don't find someone like you. I wish nothing. And I want to hear you do the down, down, up, up, down, up. So go ahead and say it out loud as you play it. Try, try it again. Make sure so you're saying down, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. So you said it right, good job. But then you played down when you said up. So make sure you play <laughs> down, down, up, and then up, down, up. So you, two, you play two ups in a row. Okay, so I want you to practice that one, uh, Bobby, this week, okay? Very nice. Um, and then Gabriel, can I have you do our last one, which was the I'm yours one, and go ahead and see. Uh, go ahead and just play it first. <laughs> How's it go? <laughs> I just, well, I won't hesitate no more, no more. Just like that. Well, I won't hesitate no more. Well, I will not wait. I will not wait. I will not wait. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, good job. I know it's hard when you obviously don't know the words to the song. So very nice job, you guys. So we learned four songs, four strum patterns, uh, four chords. Um, so is there any last questions that you have for me before we are done? No, awesome. So I want you guys to practice the ones that are the most difficult for you. Um, if you need to, go back and watch this video um, again. All of them are in the beginning, so if you need to go through them, they're all in sections. Um, but yeah, practice the ones that are most difficult for you. And then once you uh, get them, try to move up that difficulty. And if you're already getting it and you're like, I got this, then make sure you're working on singing and putting it together. That way, when you're hanging out with your friends, you can show them more than just the ukulele part, but you can sing for them. You can show them the whole song. So very nice job, you guys. Um, yeah, really, really fun class today. Uh, James, if you're on there, um, do you have any last words for the class? No, great job, everybody. Uh, Gabriel, way to go under pressure and actually sing for us. I'm very proud of you. Excellent job. Um, uh, yeah, so you guys, if you if you were struggling with anything, I can get you, I can email you the YouTube video uh, that we're going to make later on today for this, or you guys can go back into the Facebook uh, and rewind and play as much as you want through Facebook. 
uh, today. And then also make sure that you log uh, today. Anybody who joined the class, you had a solid. Uh, Gabriel gets 50 minutes today because he, he logged in even a minute early before the class starts. So he gets 50 minutes of practice time today. Uh, Bobby, I'm not exactly sure when you logged in, but right now it's 12.50, so we're stopping the class. So from whenever you logged in to 12.50, log those practice time for being available on it. Uh, and then everybody who's on Facebook Live, when you're inside the classroom is when you actually get to log this as practice time. So not if you're watching on Facebook Live, when you're actually participating in the classroom, you get to log as practice time for your Summer Olympics. So we do hope to see you inside the classroom next week. Um, outside of that, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you, Miss Elizabeth, for preparing a wonderful lesson today. And we look forward to seeing everybody next week. And Miss Elizabeth, you have all the permissions to stop recordings and everything because it's on your side. But anyway, <laughs> bye. have a great week. Bye.